and I used the Be Love seasoning on the tail. Uh -huh. Sauteed it in the pan. Oh my god. That's what you did. Mm. Mm. Like, ooh. Mm. Mm. This. I That's Tasha. That's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We gonna eat a little, drink a little. Our story time is the best. Have you L O L when you click play? No, this ain't no clickbait. What's up, y'all? Hey guys, it's Steph and Tasha, and we are back with another mukbang. I'm not really happy today, so I'm just gonna do whatever. If you're new here, thanks for subscribing. Welcome to the family. If you've been here before, welcome back. Uh, St Stephanie, tell them what we doing today. <laughs> today, you guys, we, I mean, well, I am doing a seafood boil with B Love's new garlic sauce. Oh my god. Oh, and Tasha here is doing a try not to eat challenge. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> we also have a viewer topic. Are you ready? Yeah, uh, sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Let's get into the video. You're not gonna sing it with me this time? No, not today. Okay. okay. Alright, guys, we are back. Alright, so let me explain something to y'all. Sure. I'm asleep. And um, Stephanie's been getting up at 5, 6 a.m. <laughs> I get up at 8.30 and Stephanie's like, hey, baby, being all nice like a wife is supposed to do. I come in here and she got some food cooking. I'm like, cool, we about to do a video. But I'm not up yet, so I'm not hungry or anything yet. This was two hours ago. So I'm like, oh, we about to do a seafood boil? She was like, no. I'm, what you I'm about to do a seafood boil. You doing a try not to eat challenge. Sorry. Yeah. Let me move the sauce up here so everybody can see it better. That sauce is good. Whoa, let me get into this. Oh, let me just move this. She don't need it nowhere near her. Y'all. Yeah. All right. Oh, hold on. One second, you guys. I'll be right back. Close your eyes. She told me to close my eyes, y'all. The frick is she about to bring? <laughs> Whatever it is, you put it right in front of me? Yeah. I made you a plate. Okay. All right, so we're about to get into this, y'all. Rob my eyes. Yeah, you can open your eyes. I made you, I did make you a plate, babe. y'all this is my damn be love sauce <laughs> and this is a cup of grape juice <laughs> really yes i got you got crab legs there you also have a two cucumber i gave you a lemon and a side of be love sauce so yeah oh wait let me use some else. Huh? how you gonna use my butter i don't have that much mm. Mm -mm -mm. that's good mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. This is the lobster, y'all. Mm -hmm. I should lick your face. <clears throat> oh my God. Mm -mm. Right, you said you was gonna move it away from me. Oh. This is torture, y'all. Because them. I wasn't hungry at first. So I was like, whatever, I don't really mm -hmm. care. <laughs> Wait, so I can't even drink my water? I can't do nothing? No. This is all That's I can drink? Yes. Look at that, y'all. Ooh. Mm. Don't don't even play with me. Cause if I lick a little bit, mm. oh my goodness, this is so bomb, y'all. I sauteed my lobster tail. Oh, she burned her finger. Woo! And I used the Be Love seasoning on the tail. Uh huh. Sauteed it in the pan. Oh my god. That's what you did. Mm. Mm. Like how would how'd you do it? Did you use mm -hmm. butter? Did you cook it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sprinkled it on. Mm. Mm. Did you like lick your fingers while you were doing mm -hmm. it? Oh, yep. How'd you do it again? Tell me. Oh my god. What'd you do with that? Mm -hmm. What'd you do with this? Back your ass up. Eat your food. Stop worrying about my food. Mm. We also be gonna be we gonna be doing a viewer topic later, y'all. I don't know. Tasha picked this. I have no idea what it is. Mm. Uh oh. Uh -oh. That's what you get. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. Ooh, this bomb. 
There you go. Mm hmm I didn't cook that one. I'm just playing. <laughs> oh, because it's cold. She's gonna it's give me a cold. Back. It's good. Y'all, this is mine. Oh my goodness. Mm. Oh, look. Yes. Savor it. You know what? First of Ooh. all, <laughs> you sound like it's a little too good. Mm. Oh my God. Oh yes. Okay, no, 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 no. You're trying, you do the chat. I gave you a little bit. You should have savored it. Ed Kano, y'all. Wait, let me see. You want you want, you want me to help? No, I'm, I'm fine. You want, you want, no, what? Do I want you to do it? No. Put some of this on it? No, I don't want you to put some of this on there. <laughs> no, this. I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh my. Ah. Uh, wait, let me. I didn't see it. I think something is on it. Uh, oh. Let me. <laughs> Got me a lick. Mm hmm. Oh, baby, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Mm. Oh, more lobster, y'all. More lobster. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. <coughs> mm. Oh. You guys should understand the irritation that's going through my blood right now. You know what? What the fuck is that? <laughs> oh, y'all. <laughs> Woo! Mm. What is this? I don't want you to taste this shit, but you do. I'll go. Mm -hmm. I'll taste. It. I want you to, but you supposed to be on the challenge. Oh. You really want you to taste it? That's a good lobster. Wait. I don't, I don't really like lobster, y'all, but that's good. It's sweet. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh. Mm. This, I think I should, I feel like that's the, I should taste that one too. See, my baby loves me, y'all. She getting, I like that rice. I like rice too. Mm. 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 Can you get me another nappy, please? No. Babe, <laughs> come on, give me some food. It's a challenge. Come on, give me some food. I don't want that one. I don't want clean one. Babe, that's for you. Yeah, you're right. Cause I don't have any food. Hmm. Want me to hold? I can hold the bowl. I can hold the bowl for you. <laughs> Stop it. Stop cheating. Okay. I feel like I'm eating this shit fast, y'all. You are. Slow down. <laughs> Slow down. I you can't. don't need to eat that fast. It don't have to go nowhere. That... Dang. Mm. Oh, yeah. I think you keep going a little fast. You don't want to squeeze any of this lemon on there? No. Oh. It's your cucumber. Listen. It's your cucumbers. What? Eat your don't ever talk to me with a mouthful of food like that. Well, I don't have any. It's <laughs> good. Mm. 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 Ooh, baby, put some rice on the cucumber. Put some rice on the cucumber and then mm. some of that. Mm. That's gonna be good. All right, let me get a good one. She helped me torture her. That was fine. Mm. 
this in here. Get some of that on there. <laughs> this right here, babe. You don't need to put your finger in there. You got some right there. I need some meat on this. Ooh, let's see what I got. I have some lobster over here. Maybe I ate it all. <clears throat> oh, man. I'm so tired. A little lobster on top. <laughs> oh. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. I bet you that was good. Mm. Stop making that noise, babe. Mm. You get on my nerves. Mm. Mm. It was really, really delicious. Everything is good. Damn. Thirsty. I just put the cucumbers on here to be healthy, but they actually got good as hell. Is it salt? You just mm. grabbed a lemon seed. It was mm. right I there. It. it was right there. Stop putting your phone. You got, you got more food? Go. Oh, God, I Eat just... your lemon. Mm. Yeah, you don't like crab meat. I did already. <laughs> it's gone. All of that crab. Do not waste none. This, I, 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 I think I ate. We gonna get into a viewer topic, y'all. Ain't nothing in there, y'all. See? Just see straight through it. So I done ate so fast. <laughs> and I almost put. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh. 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 Sorry, oh. my bad. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know you was there, babe. <laughs> I forgot you were here. Oh, okay. All right, cool. You can start reading the topic. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. So I'm pretty sure you're full, too. What? I'm full. Yeah, you full of shit. You ain't even hungry no more. Mm. You just want to torture. It's bomb. Mm. That should sound good. Ooh. Have you ever wanted to punch me in the mouth? <laughs> no. Have you? Uh, I've wanted to punch you. You yeah. have? Yeah, right now. <laughs> Woo! I wish y'all could have some. Oh, All right, so. I wish you could have some. What? You told me to say it? Yeah. Go to hell. Tell me, tell me. I look like. Alright, y'all. My now ex-boyfriend and I were in a relationship for the past four years. I'm 22 going on 23. He's 21 going on 22. We are each other's first love. He has been with other women, but... That was good. I'm sorry. Go ahead. You really drank the rest of my grape juice? Oh, uh, I thought you didn't want it. This was a try not to eat challenge for me. You don't drink my little <laughs> bit of grape juice you gave me. She don't even like grape juice. Mm, it was, that was good though. Okay, good. <clears throat> Ignorance. Ignorant. <sighs> He's been with other women, but he was my first everything. Though we only dated for four years, we've known each other since middle school. Throughout the, re throughout the years, our relationship has been a roller coaster. When I look back, we seem to have fought verbally at least once a week since we hit year two of dating. My ex had, my ex has said some things about me uh, as far as who I am, my family, and stuff like that that I wish not to mention. Last fall, I ended things with him, so I thought. Two months later, we decided to get back together to try things out again. Once we got back together, I told myself I'd give it a year, but things only got worse. Now, I'm not claiming to be perfect, but there are certain things that people will not do to you when they claim they love you. Last week, I met up with him in person to officially break things off, only for him to become very upset and disrespectful. He's shown me numerous times that he's unwilling to grow up and appreciate me for the woman I am. I know we've not been apart for long, but I feel as though I will never want to be with anybody else. I'm still very much in love with him, but I hate how he constantly disrespects me and shows me to my face that he does not appreciate me. I'll be 23 in a few months and the expectations and needs I desire out of a partner have changed. He doesn't do the bare minimum, but I continue to settle thinking things will change. I feel so lost. 
Any advice will be appreciated. <clears throat> and you know Steph about to go ahead and give you <laughs> it to you just the way you need it. So I'ma tell, I'ma be real quick and simple. As a matter of fact, no, go ahead, babe. This is your video. Go ahead. Uh, okay. So I hear you've been with somebody that you for a long time. Mm -hmm. You probably got comfortable. Mm -hmm. He's familiar. You had an idea of what you wanted it to become the fairy tale. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. This is this is her first love, or she? This is her first first love. So you're like, oh, we're gonna get married. We're gonna have kids. We're gonna have a house. We're gonna have this. You made all these big plans in your mind because I've done it too. And then the person didn't live up to the person that you need them to be. And it's not like he hasn't been this for a long time. But I feel like you're still living in the past expectation of him. Maybe the, maybe the first year that yeah, it was going well, exactly. you're still living in that first year. You're still living in the first year. He ain't that person. He, he changed. Maybe he wasn't ever really that person. Who knows? Mm -hmm. um, but the point is, he ain't that person now. So, no, I don't feel like, I feel like people hold on to the whole, I'm in love with you too long. Mm -hmm. Like, at some point, you need to be falling out. When they're not treating you right, they're disrespecting you, doing all these things. Yeah. Why do you continue to stay in love with them? It, I don't know. No, but I can understand loving a person. Yeah. And they may, I, think be people, I think people get that confused. I loving too. a person confused with being in love with them. How can you really be? But you could be. I'm not sure. I'm just saying. How could you really be in love with somebody who's not giving you anything to fall in love with or to keep being in love with? Exactly. And like you said, your expectations have changed. That's not a bad thing. Mm -mm. That's not a bad thing on his end or your end. That's not saying that he's a bad person. I mean, what he's done to you, you don't accept. But... Maybe somebody else will. Maybe that's for somebody else. Maybe he wouldn't treat anybody. Else. Maybe because you've changed, he's been, he's seen, oh, I don't like who the new person she is. You have changed into, you've grown and you are expecting something more. He's still in that little, wherever he is, and he's expecting somebody that you well, were that when you were 18. Could be. You know, not everybody grows up at the same pace. And that concludes friends, friends, family, and lovers. Exactly. You People evolve and some people don't. Exactly. Some people take 10 years to evolve when another person takes two. Right. Yeah, I mean, you're at the point where you have raised your standards up for how you want to be treated. And he ain't living up to it. So, big time to go. Yeah. It's time to go. I feel like you at a bad point, though. It's not even like they're cool but they're just not doing certain yeah, things that he's being like disrespectful. he's not he's not good for you period yeah so even if you didn't raise your standards you shouldn't be with him you right. know um so yeah i mean i feel like you the longer you stay in this the longer you're gonna hold yourself back from finding something good so you're just wasting your time right now even continue to trying to worry about being with him yeah basically she i don't think they're together anymore right she said they're not together right no they're not together but but she's still holding she's on she still too. loves him the hope um, you already cut it off. You already made the step, the first step by cutting it off. So you're doing good right now. You just need some reassurance. That's but I feel she like she probably still talks to him. I'm sure she still talks. So to I him. mean, like, boom, no, no more talking to the person. You know? Well, yeah. You In the can't talk to them no more. Yeah. See, I not feel like now. if she comes to terms with, because I feel like not everybody in your life you have to get rid of. But maybe you do. I don't know that though. I've gotten rid of all the people that I've dated, but I, not, that's not to say that I had to. It's just to say that at the time, um, it wasn't conducive to my new relationship or me just moving on in life. Mm -hmm. But certain people, I mean, if, if you both can come to a mutual understanding, like, damn, we grew apart. It's not about blaming each other. It's about, damn, we've grown apart. You can love somebody, but you know, you're not for me and I'm not for you. You know, we're going to move on. We're going to be harmonious. We can be friends probably. Right. But I, not everybody can do that. But I think that, that would be a great way to break up a relationship with somebody. Because a lot of people want to hold on and they really don't want to be together. Like you said, you broke up with him. And he was being disrespectful. But yet when y'all together, he's disrespectful. So he's mad that y'all broke up. But when he's with you, he still don't want to be with you. That's right. why you guys are arguing. Exactly. So people don't know how to let go when they really don't want to be together. Because mm -hmm. they still want... I think that person in their lives, but maybe not necessarily to be sleeping with them and right. be in a relationship with them. Because mm -hmm. you're, you're friends. You build a friendship after so many years. So it's I, hard to let somebody go. Yeah, I agree that um, there's people that I'm still friends with, but there was always a period of separation that we had to have mm -hmm. and just be on our own. And then when we were both ready to come back and actually be friends yeah. and not be like to toxic fake friends, yeah. then, you know what I'm saying? That's what I had to do. Yeah. I, I haven't really ever broke up with somebody and then just remained friends. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it yeah. always was some kind of separation point. And then if we, if we were meant to be friends, we always came back and, you know, talked again. Yeah, for sure. So I don't know. It would be nice if, if people could be friends. Mm -hmm. Um, 
afterwards because that I mean the more friends you have that genuinely care about you the better yeah. just in life but yeah not we it seems like somebody we, we always, ain't mad. We, yeah, and, and he's gonna not. keep bringing up bullshit in her life if he if she does that's what I think okay. I think if she starts trying to date other people he got he about to be doing too much and then it's like for some reason the ex always has a little bit more power over you even if you don't want to be with them because I've been in that situation where it's like because I love that person and I built something with them, I don't want to hurt them. So I'm allowing them to fuck up my new situation. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even though yeah, I don't want to be with them at all. That, if you're able to nip that shit in the bud and they're able to respect it, that, that's the reason why. Because if people, we allow the exes to yeah. have that. If we don't allow the exes to have that, then they're not going to do it. They're going to stop doing it or that's they're going to just be kicked to the curb. It's like, no, you can't do this shit or yeah. you can't call me. Yeah. We don't do that. We be like... Oh, don't say that about yeah, yeah. him. Mm -hmm. Don't say that about her. No, you're supposed to be like, uh, bye, click. Right. Yep. So they know not to ever say it again. Boundaries. Yeah, yeah. Adam boundaries. I say move the hell on. Yeah. Okay. Cut him off if you need to. If you y'all can still be friends, that's great. But shit, you'll see as as you're moving on, you'll see like, damn, I'm glad mm -hmm. I let that go because everything is just gonna start getting better mm -hmm. in your life. You definitely made the right decision. Um, I think you guys have just grown apart, and I think young people, when they grow, start growing apart, they just argue. It's just hard. We're not supposed to. We just time not you to not be with somebody. Yeah. I don't know exactly how much he disrespected you, but disrespect is never okay. So I don't know why he even did that. I understand arguing off, nitpicking off little stuff, but being totally disrespectful is right. just wrong. I don't know where he gets that from or what he needs to fix with yeah, himself. Something. But he he can go be disrespectful to somebody else, not you. Mm -hmm. So, if y'all have any advice for her, please leave it in the comments below. Stop if you like, let's end this shit, bitch. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, comment, let us know what you guys think. Please subscribe to our vlog channel. We're about to be doing vlogs, y'all. Date night vlogs. And we, I got some other ideas I ain't told you about yet. I got some um, too. Cool. Yeah, great. <laughs> and they all can, you can't eat challenge I can't too. Eat. Oh, yeah. Uh, until next time. Only good vibes. Peace. No, peace it up. Peace. peace. Peace, happy, say peace. Like Brock, peace. peace.